You know, a month or so ago, I took this old crappy minivan and I lifted it. You do realize that means I'm gonna lift the gem too, right? So I was happy with how this was customized. This one's painted black, they come stock white. Still wanted to add my own flair to it. And I wanted to lift the gem because I realized it was easy. Why the heck not? Gems tend to have quite a cramped front end on them. Normally, you're gonna see the wheel position way back here and it, it's too far back in my opinion. Especially when I put these bigger tires and rims on them. It ends up putting uh, everything really, really close to the fender and there's potential for rubbing. I just don't think it looks good either. One of the first things I wanted to accomplish was to fix that problem. So I moved the subframe out two inches. My next step was to lift the gym, and I went with four inches because if I went any higher than four inches, that would start interfering with the length of the existing wiring and the brake lines and a variety of things that I just didn't want to mess with. Now let's take a closer look at the front end. What are you doing down there? You can't see anything down here. Come here. So one of the things I did on the front end of the gym in order to lift it was to take the original mounting points, which are right here, and move them out and down using this big hunk of steel. Does that make sense? There's also some changes I had to make to the bottom of the gem, so let's go down there and I'll show you. Underneath the gem, I had to do the same thing. I had to make a big ass bracket that was four inches longer and also forward a little bit. So this is that bracket. Once I lifted it, I wanted to move all the fenders down a bit to cover up the front end, like the motor and the uh, subframe and things like that, because they were exposed and it looked ridiculous. By moving all the fenders down, then that created a big gap up top. And I filled that big gap by putting a front basket in there. Then they call it a clay pigeon basket. You'll find them on golf carts and things like that. This is my only real good camera. And <laughs> it just fell off my bench. I can put Junk in the trunk. No, no. Junk in the front. Junk, junk up front. Now I can put junk up in my front. If you have questions about how I did certain things that I couldn't cover in this video, of course, ask me in the comments and I'll either make another video or I'll address you directly or however you want to do it. Um, I just wanted to get this video in the can and get it done. I was all this big, uh, little, uh, to uh, some brackets to reposition the stock top shocks, shock mounts. I made some brackets, moved the shocks down and rebolted the whole thing back together as you can see here. It was really easy to do. This was just me doing it at night in you know, little one hour increments. So for the past six months, I've been wearing this exact same outfit for the sake of continuity. The things I do for you people. Here's the gym. I know it's not the most exciting thing for you guys to watch along with, but I think it's a ton of fun to build. I am also very excited to be done with it. Now it's finally time to move on to another project because I am sick of looking at this thing.
We have to. Vincent. We happy? Yeah, we happy. <laughs>